the parking lot of this school behind me, almost dead empty. It's the dog days of summer. But you know what? Ball's in the air. When you were going to school, do you remember going to school on a school bus? You remember those mornings. You get up, snarf down a couple of Pop-Tarts, shoulder your book bag and trudge out to the bus stop. Quietly waiting there and whatever weather Mother Nature handed you, you'd hear a bus before you saw it and then watch that yellow beast lumber up the road. With the growl of a diesel engine and the squeak of air brakes, the doors would accordion open and the driver would nod you in. When you mounted the bus, you looked in the back and there were 40 seats there from which any you could choose. And you could choose any seat you wanted and you probably put a lot of thought into it. But we knew there was one seat you wouldn't take because it's the driver's seat. And for kids, that's kind of appropriate, right? Their lives are run by other people, by their parents, by the school, by their coach. It's kind of easy and it's kind of familiar. It's not always fun, but that's how it is being a kid. But on the bus of life as an adult, there's only two seats on the bus. There's the driver's seat and every other seat on the bus that's not the driver's seat. How often do we find ourselves working under somebody else's agenda? Our boss, our spouse, our children, our church, our friends. There are only two seats on the bus of life for adults because the driver's seat isn't any other seat and any other seat on the bus isn't the driver's seat. Which seat do you choose? Have a great day.